No doubt your kids would find it shocking that once upon a time you actually had to stand up and walk to the TV set to change the channel. Well, you might be shocked at just how early the remote was on the drawing board, crude as those early ones were. <laughs> After a hard day at the office, a man wants to relax. That's why Zenith Space Command is... The Space wonder. Command by Zenith was the first practical wireless remote for the TV. When this clicker came out in 1956, it was almost considered... Technology has been around almost as long as the TV itself. The first remote for television was called the Lazy Bones. Introduced by Zenith in 1950, it had a wire that went across your living room floor. Now the Lazy Bones was pretty nifty for your early couch potato, but if you're moving around, watch out. Of course it had its limitations because the wire was coming across the floor and you didn't want to trip over it. By 1955, Zenith came up with a breakthrough wireless device with a sci-fi sounding name, the Flashmatic. It's shaped like a ray gun, which was appropriate for the mid-1950s. It allows you to change the channel by shooting this beam of light to a photo cell at the top of the set. The trouble is, a ray of sun through the window could mimic the remote. If it hit the set just right, it might actually turn on the set, change the channels. So just a year later, in 1956, the Flashmatic was replaced by... Space Command Tuning. There's nothing between you and the set but space. This new ultrasonic technology had an added bonus. It could mute the sound. It turns off the sound while the picture remains on the screen, even from the next room. Zenith's founder, Eugene McDonald, was concerned about these annoying commercials and wanted to have the ability to mute the sound. Sound familiar? But back then, there was a price for zapping those ads. The remote added $100 to the price of a set. The infrared remote is free today, but we still haven't ended the age-old family power struggle over who handles the clicker. It seems that 50 years of remote history has made control freaks of us all.